During this lecture, we'll be talking about central tolerance and peripheral tolerance. Now, let's talk about central tolerance first. It is the development. Uh, it is a development stage within the life cycle of the lymphocytes, and it is going to be making sure that these cells, these lymphocytes, can distinguish between uh, self and non-self cells. This is extremely important to prevent autoimmune diseases. Now, peripheral tolerance, on the other hand, it is the deletion or the energy, which is the abnormal immune response of lymphocytes that recognize self-antigens in the periphery. Also, it, is, it causes the suppression of responses by regulatory CD4 T lymphocytes T reg. Now, let's actually dive uh, a little bit more into uh, into what uh, the uh, the causes or what happens if we have a problem within central tolerance and peripheral tolerance first of all failure of central tolerance can lead to uh, it can lead to a an abnormal high affinity uh, to a self mhc or self mhc plus self antigen or it can not perform the uh, if you want the difference in uh, the uh, recognition of the self and the non self antigens this just like we said uh, we mentioned previously it is going to be leading to autoimmune diseases now moving forward about peripheral tolerance t and b cells require along with normal antibody antigen stimulations co-stimulatory signals what we mean here is that one simple signal between the antigen presenting cell and the lymphocyte is not going to be enough to trigger it what we need here is a co-stimulatory signal that is going to be also just like we mentioned before let's imagine we've got one stimulus here and another stimulus has to also be present on the surface of these two cells in order to make sure that this a stimulus is going to be occurring however if the first stimulus is present which is the antigen presenting cell and the lymphocyte whereas there was no co-stimulatory signal just like as an example the b7.1 and the b7.2 we're not going to be having an immune response no recognition is going to be happening also let's understand that in the absence of these co-stimulatory signals the lymphocytes or the cells here are going to be getting into they're going to be stimulating the energic genes and these energic genes are going to be uh, going to be leading these t or b cells to be inactive for further stimulus